Hi guys, I saw someone was having trouble tracing this image, so rather than type out a tutorial, I thought I'd record one. So first of all, this is just an image I got from Google Images, uh, and just imported it into Silhouette Studio. I'm going to hit the Z key and then zoom in on my image. And the first step is to trace it. So I'm going to open up my trace tool and select trace area. And you just want to make sure you get the whole of the B. Wasp, B, I think, included. And we really just want to trace the black of the outline. So it's already looking pretty good. I'm going to bring the scale down to 4 because I always think it gives you a smoother line and it ends up cutting out better. And I'm going to increase the high pass filter to just a little bit so that there are a few lines here that I want closed off. Same with up here. If I can get them to close off, then I don't have to do it manually. So this is now closed off here, but I actually am starting to get some uh, jagged lines around the outline. So I'm going to take this back down to about 10. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at high pass filter 10, threshold 45, and scale 4. You can see the black outlines that I want to cut out in black are relatively smooth, and it looks like I've captured most of them. I've got the circles of his shoes, I've got this little yellow piece in here, and I can show you how we can fix this bit up later. So just hit trace, and then drag your image off so that we can keep it there for reference. Make it a little bit smaller so I can see it on my screen. Get in the way. So now we've got this traced outline. So I'm going to right click on this and click the least click down part. And suddenly we've got all these lines here. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of these, the trademark logo, and two extra pieces down here, just holding the shift key down and dragging. We're going to delete those. Next, you'll notice that we've got double lines, and some of these double lines we want, and some of them we don't. So, for example, this piece here is going to be cut out of orange or yellow, so we actually want those double lines. But this piece here is actually black, the same as the outline, so we don't need that piece, so we're going to click on it and delete it. And I'm going to go through that with a bunch of these pieces. This I can see is supposed to be black. It. The same with this extra piece down here. Delete that. There's a piece down here that's black. So anything that is going to be cut out in black that has somehow become detached from the outline, you want to remove. So I think that's most of it. We can always delete more later. Uh, so my first, the first thing I'm going to do is make all the pieces that are going to be yellow. I'm going to make them yellow. So holding the shift key down, I just start clicking the ones that. And see, are going to be yellow. A little piece of his tail in here, and his, both his arms and his tail. And we're going to use the eyedropper tool and fill that in with orange or yellow. And I can see that that's all the bits. So Control G and group those together. Now I deliberately left his face out because I can see that it's not. And I'll show you why. If you fill in his face line a blue colour. You can see that his eyeball is filled in too and we actually don't want that. We want that to be black. So I'm going to leave that for a second and we'll see that in a minute. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to zoom in on his wing. Because my image was cut off a little bit, my wing tip has ended up a bit dodgy. But I'm show, going to show you how we fix that. So we double click on the outline or you can click point edit and it brings up the point edit tool. Next we're going to click on this point and click break. Same on the other side. And what that does is puts like a little snip in the line. So we end up with four open ends instead of two closed ends. So we're going to join the left ones up and we're going to join the right ones up. Obviously this isn't quite right. This still doesn't look right. Double click and bring up the point edit tool. I'm actually going to delete this point and that will smooth that out and make it a nice curve. And this, I'm just going to highlight these three points. And I'm going to just play around and click make curve. That didn't really help. But what I can do is drag these out. And then double click on it again. Drag this out. Still looks a little bit funny. 
So double click again and select those three points and click smooth. And now we've got a nice clean edge there. Uh, these lines, however, will still be connected together. So I want to undo that and I want to right click and release compound part just to separate those up again. All right, so I'm going to start filling in. I'm just going to group all the pieces together that are going to be white. So we've got the, the base of the shoes, the hole in it here. So it's four down there. Uh, his cuffs are going to be white. His teeth are going to be white. His wings are going to be white. His eyeballs are going to be white. So we're going to group those together and we're going to fill those in with white. You can see nothing changed but drag it to the side you can see that actually they're filled in with white now. Alright so now we've got to fix up his eyeball so that this cuts out in black and yellow rather than just one piece. So zoom in as close as you can to the place where the colour is like leaking through where there's a gap. So a sort of little extra piece here we're just going to delete that. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the wing. We're going to double click on this piece and bring up the point edit tool and then we're going to split this, we're going to break the path and the same on the other side. So we put two little snips so now we've got four open ends and we're going to join them back up in the opposite direction. So just split them up first so you can see we've got our four paths that are open. So we're going to bring those together and we're going to do the same on the other side. And bring those together. Now again you can see this has ended up with a, a bit of a dodgy line. So we're going to bring that back over here and we're going to select these points and click smooth. That didn't really work. We'll just select that one and click smooth. That's better. And we'll zoom out just to see what we're left with. And now this is another one of those pieces that we're not actually going to want left in there. We don't want to cut that out. We just need the black of the base layer. So we're going to right click and release compound path. And then we're going to delete this black, this bit that's going to be that should be filled in with black. It's just an extra cut line. So delete that. And now we're going to fill in the outline, and we're going to see what we're working with. So black, and most of him is looking pretty good. I can see we've got an extra line here that we forgot to delete. This is the his chest. We can delete that, and we're going to fill in his face and group it to the other yellow items and group those together. So there's a few more steps. This is going to be black too. And we've got a little problem here with the line that is supposed to be a single line. It's actually traced into a couple of dots which isn't quite what we want. So we're going to click on those two dots and I'm actually going to delete them. And what I'm going to do instead is draw my own in. And I'm going to use the ellipse tool and draw a really thin, long ellipse. I'm going to then click on the ellipse and rotate it until it lines up and it makes a line. And you could use a line tool, but this will cut better and it's got a nice curved edge, which gives it a bit of a more fluid look. So now all I've got to do is... I've got to actually duplicate this, so I'm going to go up to the duplicate window. And I want to duplicate to the same position. So then I click replicate. And now there's two lines directly on top of each other. And I'm going to just go to the modify tool and with one of those lines selected and one of these orange pieces, pieces that are going to be orange, Subtract, and I'm going to do the same with the piece on the left. We click subtract, and see how that line has now been cut out of those two pieces that are going to be orange. So now all I have to do is fill these in with orange. The easiest way, rather than trying to click on each of these pieces, is to hold the shift key down and drag a box around all of them. Keep holding the shift key and click the outline of him. And then when you go to, then you'll be left with only these pieces here that are going to be filled in with orange. So select those and then group them together. 
zoom out. And so now, the one last thing we've got to do is in the middle of his arm here in his body, these actually need to be cut out of the black. So select both of those. Select his body or the black outline. Click modify and modify and click subtract. And now they'll cut out of the black of his outline. All right, so that's your image. It's basically ready to cut. I'll show you how I would group um, group everything together with registration marks to make it easier. So I select all of him and I just drag him off to the side. I'm going to add some registration marks, just making sure they're above the top and above the left of the image. Select both the marks, just so they're easier to see. I fill them in with black and then align them so that they're nice and aligned and then I group them together. So I select the registration marks and the orange layer and I hit control and I tap the up arrow key and it duplicates the image up and then I group the image together. Next I select all the yellow on him and the registration marks I group them together and I use control and I tap the right arrow key to bring it out to the right. <coughs> and I do the same thing and I copy and paste with the white layer. Oops, I didn't want the yellow layer selected. I just want the white layer. I accidentally grouped the yellow layer with the registration marks, so we're just going to ungroup those. We want the just the white layer and the registration marks, and we're going to copy and paste those and group them together. And then we're going to delete all of those layers from our main image. This is what we're left with. We're going to group that together with the registration mark. We're left with an orange layer that's going to be the basketball. We're left with the yellow layer that's going to layer on top and give him some detail. And we're left with the white layer, which layers on top of that. And if you want to check that they've all been layered correctly, highlight them all, align left, and align top. And what it will do is align your registration marks and therefore the images that have been grouped with. So I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any other requests. Thank you. Bye.